Hello, and this is my garden. In front of you, you will see a raised bed that uh, in the original intro video, you might have noticed that we were actually constructing a raised bed. So this is a new raised bed this year. One of the great things about uh, starting a channel on April 15th is we have passed the last frost date for the area, at least the average last frost date, which is April 14th. So I've now planted out some tomatoes in this bed. Obviously there's still some st some room on the end. There's still room on the end where we can plant additional things. But this has been an opportunity to um, get these started. Obviously you can wait a little while on your tomatoes until it is a little bit warmer. But um, that's just our start. Next you will see right here we're going to make a pollinator bed. I have planted out a bunch of herbs and flowers that will attract beneficial insects and pollinators for the yard. Obviously they're still uh, in a seed phase, but we can show you more of that going on. Our next bed has garlic in it right here. Obviously doing quite well. Um, it was planted last fall. Then we have more room in the bed and let's go over with a better angle to look at that. Down here we have some oregano that has been here for several years. It's doing well. And just above it, looking very similar, are a few pea plants that are popped up. Um, I will eventually have to put some sort of a trellising for them to climb up. Uh, it's going to be tight on whether I get um, good peas out of that. I have more peas actually to plant out as well, but it's possible we'll get too hot in the summer to get a good production out of those peas. In the next bed, we have kale and cabbage that are planted, as well as some parsnips that I'm going to actually let go to seed. Have some collard greens here, collard greens that are going to seed, the second year collard greens, and we'll talk more about them later as well. And we have a garden bed here that right now doesn't have anything in it. It had tomatoes last year. My plan is probably to put a trellis down the middle and grow out some cucumbers in this bed as well as do some of the planting of our purple carrots from the seed giveaway and uh, actually a, a squash plant or two, summer squash, in this bed as well. Right next to it we have, um, you will see some garlic plants there that are, they were actually originally just garlic bulbs that uh, turned into rounds last year and I didn't get them out of the ground. And so they're now sprouting up and should be small uh, bulbs of garlic this year. So we'll eventually see what those turn into um, in addition to the, the big bulbs. I probably will leave them here. I might transplant them, but I think I'll leave them here and then probably grow beans inside of the uh, garlic in this bed. So that's just a brief tour. On the back side of the uh, garden, I've already pre-filled a bunch of pots. Uh, most of them are five gallon buckets. There's some three gallon buckets and even maybe a one gallon bucket down there. But I think mostly I'll be planting peppers in the buckets. I find that I do a pretty good job of growing peppers from a bucket, better so than in the ground. Probably a watering issue, um, which I'm gonna be addressing more generally in my garden by upping my, uh, by increasing the drip lines I have and better planning out my drip irrigation system, which also should be a video that we will be discussing later, so. Um, that's just a brief overview 
of what my growth space is in this area. Oh. Here you can see I've got some blackberry plants that I bought, that I uh, got from a neighbor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the garden and we will continue to have videos that show you some of the stuff that we already have planted and as we plant out more stuff. Please let us know if you've got any specific requests of things to see and I hope this channel can be a real community where we engage with one another and you know you can comment on anything that's going on in your garden share videos you might have in your garden and we'll put them up here and uh, talk with one another